Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as the G, -G, 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 G virus and we are back with more Let's play Resident Evil remake HD edition Chris scenario on hard mode gotta stress those facts. This is on hard mode first playthrough with Jill was on normal But uh, yeah, we're back last last episode. We got re uh, reestablished uh, we got familiar again with the controls of this game and uh Return to the survival horror world. We investigated. We uh, found some keys, solved some puzzles, juked some zombies, killed some with a knife, and we're pretty much rolling here. Everything's looking good. Chris is looking good, looking all HD and beautiful. And uh, what am I doing next? I got a whole bunch of keys, so that means I can open up a whole bunch of doors. So let's just get to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and go meet up with another member of stars real quick just while i'm at it let me go ahead and um yeah let me just go ahead and unlock some doors oh shit <laughs> uh, uh, get the fuck off me you i should cut him i don't have my knife on me but anyways i don't think i can unlock this oh yes i can use the mansion key um i'll go ahead and head through here why not i can unlock this door over here but yeah i'm gonna go catch up with a. Uh, a rookie member of stars real quick. Chris is, um... Chris is... Oh, there's no zombie here. Chris is, uh... You know what? Let's go in here. Why not? Chris is companion for this playthrough. You know, Jill had Barry. Chris has got to have somebody, or else this playthrough would be super lonely, wouldn't you say? Oh, I don't have a... Oh, get a clip. Get this magazine real quick, because I don't have any ammunition. And I think I have a slight feeling like I'm gonna get jumped in here, so let's go ahead and get ready. He's got a zombie on the floor, something in the closet that wants out. This has sketchy written all over it. But this room looks awesome. I got a blood stain on the bed, a hanger. Looks like an alcohol bottle right there. Clothes all over the place. This guy's not trying to get out anymore. He said, fuck it. Now he's waiting to do a surprise, a, a, a jump scare on me. Just, just biding his time. Swimwear girls. I never really looked at these posters up here. What does that say? I can't see it. Oh. Ah, I'll read this again. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from, from Security. And Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skin gorilla. Feeding instructions were, were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually ate, it started eating it. May 11th, 1998, at around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny. So I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. Uh, they put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th, 1998, I found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were, cold, they were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998, rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy. I'm sweating all the time now. This guy's just in bad shape. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Nothing good, my friend. May 19th, 1998, fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry, eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998, itchy, itchy. Scott came, ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, itchy. Tasty. Yeah, classic file right there. A real lengthy one, too. So this guy's not gonna come out unless I try to open that, huh? I think it's random. Sometimes he just comes the hell out when I try to investigate that book or when I just come over here, but whatever. Yeah, make your grand entrance, buddy. Fuck, I knew he was gonna grab me. Go ahead and grab this. Oh, it's a small key. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a defensive item. Oh, I'm about to get fucked up in here. Hold on. I'm about to get fucked up. Oh, 
Get the hell off me. Let me just get the hell out of here. Do I have any health on me? I do. I'm gonna use that immediately. Damn, can I get a head pop? You can pop heads randomly. It's the handgun. I mean, it's even more random than popping heads with the shotgun. Like... Ah, for fuck's sake. There we go. Fuck. Fucking battle in this bedroom, man. It's a massacre in this bedroom. Damn it. Well, at least we got our first headshot of the playthrough. It took forever, man. So yeah, the headshots are random in this game. For, uh, because with the crimson heads. It allows more opportunities for you to encounter crimson heads by having the headshots, the head pops be random. So yeah. They're, they're extra random with the handgun. And less random with the shotgun, you know. You'll probably get it. A headshot with a shotgun every other zombie but um let's just unlock doors while we're at it I'm supposed to I'm supposed to be meeting up with another member of stars already but kind of getting sidetracked here I should I'm not gonna get I'm not, I'm not gonna dispose of that body right there because he's not gonna rise up unless I walk past him although sometimes I think you don't need to walk, you don't need to always walk past them to get the Crimson Heads to arise. Sometimes they'll just already be arisen for some strange reason. I've encountered that a couple times. Man, I am not getting, hold on, do I have one defensive item at least? I got nothing. Look at that. There goes the grenades I was talking about last video. Just nothing but small keys. I wonder if that's because it's on hard, they're reducing the number of, uh, the number of defensive items I'd be getting. I'm oh, fucked up. I have no ammo either. I'm just gonna do some juking right here. And Chris doesn't get a cutscene. Jill got a cutscene when that zombie came to the door. She stumbles and it's all dramatic and shit. Chris just door opens he's backing up and we're and we're and we're trying to survive that's it all right i need to get some health i know where i'm gonna go well i'm gonna I'm 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 put off meeting the other member of stars for a moment because uh, i need some health does chris look like he has a pained pained expression on his face yeah, he's kind of uh, he's kind of grimacing a little bit, like he's hurting. <laughs> like, oh shit! Uh, I ne I never noticed that on the original GameCube version. That might be an added facial expression right there. You never know. You know what? I need to grab the damn ink ribbon. This should be one right here. Alright, so... You know what, I think... I'll just, I'll just do, I'll just do this part right here. I'll do this first. Because then, once I do this, I think a... Actually, you know what? Let me heal myself real quick, F that. I keep forgetting that there's like, a bushel of herbs out here. I did that a lot for on Jill's playthrough. I think I only used it once. I kept forgetting to use the damn thing. And let me take advantage of that. There shouldn't be enemies out here. Yeah, we're good. Chris, I'm sorry. I've been I've been mishandling you. I did so well earlier on in the in the last video of handling, you know, of taking care of you. You have treated your wounds. They don't tell you how many more uses you have, I don't think. I don't I don't think I've used it yet. I don't remember. But all right, let's go. Let's go reunite with somebody real quick. I don't know, but fr from the way they talk to each other, I don't think these two individuals have ever met before. The inv the individual that I'm about to I'm about to meet up with, I don't think Chris has ever met this person before, because I think this person says, "Who the who are you?" <laughs> so I don't think they've ever met, which is interesting, because I thought Bravo Team and Alpha Team 
are like in the same precinct or in the same building. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're in different precincts. Because in Resident Evil 2, there isn't like a Bravo Team office. So maybe Bravo Team is in a different precinct. Which, which would have been interesting if there was like another police department somewhere that we got to explore in RE2. Huh. Hmm. Rebecca! You. Chris Redfield, oh, no, no. Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. She knows him. She said, you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Oh, it's extra effed up. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. I mean, I don't know. Chris did introduce himself, but um, she she said you like at least like she knows of him. I don't know. In the original, she says, "Who are you?" So who knows? I don't know if they've met before. All right, so that was uh that was Rebecca. She's gonna be our sidekick. I mean, well, she's definitely not as cool as Barry, not as iconic as Mr. Barry Burton. Definitely rather have Barry, uh, you know, in a plate with me. She doesn't save us too much. I think she does save us. Mm. I feel like we do more protecting of her ass, if anything. But you know. I like Rebecca. Uh, original RE1, original PlayStation version of Rebecca is... Ugh. If, you, if, if you're a long-time fan of me and you checked out my original playthrough of Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation, you know how I feel about Rebecca. But she's a, she's not bad in, in this remake, and she's excellent in Zero. I, I love how they made her in Zero. She's There's like so many different versions of Rebecca. Like The uh, Umbrella Chronicles Rebecca is... Not as bad as the original Rebecca, but she's bad. A remake is like the second best Rebecca, and the best Rebecca is is uh, Zero. And I don't know why they just can't get her personality right, but they they keep screwing it up, changing it up on. I don't like that shit. Damn, I'm low on ammunition. Look at this shit. Only four shots. Looks like I'm just dodging stuff for the rest of this run right here, guys. Well, for for the rest of this video, right, let's hurry up and save this man. Or at least an attempt to save this man. He might succumb to his injuries. Who knows? Might be doing this all in vain. On the original version, he dies. Let's see what happens. Let's see what. Let's go unlock this door. Oh shit, there's a zombie here. Never mind. So yeah, we're just gonna resort to a whole lot of dodging tactics. Got a good shot of the zombie right there. He was all in the camera. All his decayed and rotting flesh was all in the camera. Make you lose your lunch right there. I still haven't gotten a defensive item yet. It's funny. I'm coming. Hang in there, Richard. Be strong, my friend. Shouldn't Rebecca have the damn serum? She is like the medic of Bra for Bravo Team or something like that. She says she left it in another room. Didn't even tell us the room either. Chris just had to just assume the location. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard. Chris looks really young. He's right okay. There. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. It's funny. I think Chris is. I don't remember. Richard's oh, doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? 
Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you, I think they, they, they tweaked the music in this, in this port ever so slightly because that the music they played right there sounded very different than I remember it sounding. And I remember after she goes to save, after, after we save Richard, there's a door animation. Like we open up a door or something like that. Like, yeah, the door opened. Maybe I'm just mistaken. I look like they cut that out. But um, yeah, if you don't hurry up and bring the serum back, Richard dies. And uh, we can now be healed by Rebecca in here. It looks like this one's been dead for several hours. He checked the zombie body by accident. Yeah, we can come in here and um, Rebecca will heal us. So we, Chris actually has more ways to heal himself. That's one this benefit to Chris. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? <laughs> no, not right now. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, if... No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. You just make sure you keep them on you, you know, instead of leaving them places like you left the serum, okay? Let's see, what he, see what he says about Richard. Richard is still sleeping. All right. Fair enough. All right, what's next? Let's unlock some more doors. I mean, let, me, let me check out the other side of the mansion. The first floor east wing, I think that's what it's called. Let's check that shit out already. So, I'm still having issues with the controls as far as when I go to a new camera angle. You might be able to unlock it with an old key. Use this old key. Absolutely. Let's use that old key. Let's check out what's in here. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm having still difficulties with uh, when the camera angle changes. It causes me to, like... Hey, our first defensive item, it causes me to, like, accidentally go in the wrong direction once the camera angle changes because, you know. Flash grenade. This is a flash grenade? Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and, sele and, and then select an item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller setting... You must press L2 to use a defensive item. Mine is set to manual. At least it should still be from my Jill playthrough. Because this is once again mode carrying on from there. So it should all still be in place. Will you take the broken shotgun? Let's investigate. I don't think we ever picked this up for Jill. We didn't need to. It's broken and can't be fired. Maybe there's another use for this. Yeah, there is. Go ahead and grab this ink ribbon. And now because I've grabbed this ink ribbon, I have to go and do item management. There hasn't been as much item management... So far as I thought there would be. If this was like your initial playthrough with Chris, expect a lot of item management. But because I've played this so much... Ah, fuck! Forgot he was there. Almost got bitten. Boy, those controls, man. I'm telling you, if this was tank controls, and I did what I just did right there, ran or turned the corner and just didn't, know, just didn't remember that, that that zombie was there, I would have got bitten for sure. I gotta go over to her. Are you okay? Yeah, Want keep, me to treat your wounds? She'll keep asking me. I think I don't know how many times no, I'm okay. I don't know how many times she'll uh, heal us or how many uses we can do that. Damn it! I need some damn ammo. I'm hurry to get this damn shotgun. All right, you stay. Uh, stay safe. All right, where am I going next? Uh, don't end up getting bitten by this guy. See where he's at first. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's supposed to be a defensive item here, but because we're on hard mode, that's, 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 there's nothing there. I'm not able to mess with any of the other rooms in here quite yet. Let's go ahead and, um, I don't know if I used the key on the door further down that hallway or not. It's good to open up the, to use the keys on the doors, even if you're not ready to go in there, because then you can get rid of the key faster. Because once you've unlocked all the doors with, the, with that key, Chris will throw it away. But, uh, I'll just assume that I unlocked it already. Um, should I mess around with this front door? 
Nah, we'll do it later. I don't have enough ammunition to deal with what happens when you mess around with that front door right there. I think I'm gonna use my, um, my grenade defensive item real quick. Why not? Let's get the headshot count up a bit. Let's get that up a little bit. So you guys can see what the grenade is capable of. Is it really a flash grenade? Yeah, it's a flash grenade, so it's not a grenade like an explosive grenade. Flash grenades are like, they blind you, right? Will you take the dagger? Ah, uh, let's go with the grenade. Oh, what are you doing, Chris? Don't fall. I that zombie always looks gigantic in that cutscene. You would think he, he wouldn't look as gigantic because you're with Chris, but he still does. Now, this can actually harm me if I'm too close to him, so let me get the fuck out of the way. Shit, I want to see him get- Oh, shit! Damn it, I wanted to see him explode, but... Did it do damage? Yes, yeah, sure did do damage. Fuck! Well, at least you guys got to see him, his head blow up. That was a major fail right there, but... That was for demonstration purposes. That's why I got harmed. Kind of defeats the purpose. I took damage anyway. But, well, at least Rebecca can heal us now. And we can see what that looks like, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like when the camera angle changes, like, you automatically... Your mind wants to adjust your, uh, your point of movement, like how you're holding the joystick. And once you do that, you end up running in the direction that you're not intending to run in. Which causes me to run back into the previous screen quite often. Damn, I'm already at 22 minutes? Damn, this shit went by fast. That's crazy. Uh, I guess I'll just do what I gotta do here and uh, prepare to save. So the remainder of the videos for here, except for maybe the finale, are all gonna be... Oh, shit. They're all gonna be between 20 and 30, guys. Just like Jill's played through. Nothing here? Waste of time. I think there's something there on the easier modes. So it's a lot less items for hard mode. I don't think the enemies deal more damage, it's just items. Oh wow, look at you, huh? <laughs> He's standing so stiff, like so 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 upright, like Yes sir! That's Chris. There's Chris for you. Mr. Redfield. Yep. Let's see, how he, let's see how he looks with the gun in his hand. Let's see how official you look. Oh yeah, you look, you look like a boss, Chris. Mm, freeze. Yeah, there's a couple of these type of shots where we can get a good look at the, the character model. These same, some of the camera angles from the original PlayStation 1 port or version are, are, are just duplicated in the remake. This is one of them. I believe this is the same camera angle too. Yeah, a lot of the camera angles were repeated. You might be able to unlock it with the old key. Use the old key. Yes. We won't go in there quite yet. We'll go over here. You know what? Yeah, let's just go over here. Oh. You know what? No. I'm, I'm gonna have to come back here. I don't have enough ammo to deal with what's about to happen once I unplug that, so let me just not, not even bother. Gotta be smart, man. As a matter of fact, I could get some ammo, actually. Ah, let's just, we'll save that for next video. We'll do the bulk of this area right here next video. Let me just get the key item that's in here. And keep it moving. And then I'll just cut the video. Dogs on the other side of that fence, I don't think they jump over. But I could be wrong. I think that might be the original the original game. Oh, there's still plenty of carrots in that. No, we're not I don't, I don't think I'm gonna dispose of any more bodies, guys. No, let me get that red herb so I can get a red green mixture. And have a spare green herb hanging around by itself. Fuck's sake. There we go. There we go. 
So yeah, for, for those who've discovered this playthrough first, if you want a more in-depth analysis of the game and looking at items and probably a bit more explanation on what shit is and how stuff looks and admiring every aspect of the HD facelift the game has been given, I encourage you to check out my Jill playthrough. That's where I played this for the first time. Oh shit! Fuck. Ah, oh, shit! Damn controls! Damn it! Oh. Alright, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna go save. That's gonna do it. That's a sign that I just need to cut it here. That's it for video two. God. I thought the zombies broke through the glass if I came up from this direction into that area. But I guess I was wrong. Big time. Alright guys, next episode we'll go ahead and get the shotgun, solve some more puzzles. There's going to be a lot of puzzle solving in the next episode, I can tell you that right now. Oh shit, I should have read that. I should have read that. Who's, who's the one who leaves? Because Barry, let me go read that real quick. Barry's the one who leaves notes around the place. Let's, you know, let's see, who, let's see who left this note. I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker. Oh, Wesker. All right. So Wesker's the one who leaves notes and stuff because in Jill's scenario, Barry would like fix shit or take care of things or leave you items in rooms and stuff like that and leave you a little note. But since there's no Barry, I guess he's dead in Chris's uh, playthrough, which is kind of sad. Since there's no Barry, we, uh, we got Wesker helping us out. Uh, we got Rebecca and Wesker giving Chris a helping hand, so I guess that's one plus to Chris's scenario, right? He's got a little more help, even though Barry lends a helping hand way more than both of them, actually. But alright! This will be our first save, too, so let me go ahead and get that. Get that recorded before I cut it. Alright, guys, if you like the video, feel free to like it. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen my Jill playthrough, there goes all the saves for it. 13 in total. Not bad, I guess. But alright. Let me just save from the top. If you want more, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. This is the Game Virus. Thank you for watching. Oh, shit, it's red. Because it's once again mode. Fuck. That's creepy. I'll see you guys next video. Later.